What is going on, guys? Grave here. Yesterday, we got a lot of information about Black Ops Cold War. Uh, all kind of things from prestige systems to progression systems to post-launch content. So I decided to kind of make a video talking about it all because today we're supposed to get more information about the prestige system from Treyarch, a little bit more detail. But let's go ahead and hop right into it. To begin with, uh, the first thing I want to talk about, is, of course, is going to be the progression system. The progression system is going to be combined between Black Ops Cold War, Modern Warfare, and Warzone one rank between all three titles. It says on November the 13th, Black Ops, Cold, uh, Black Ops Cold War is set to launch with an updated player progression system. Players will begin by completing military ranks, a traditional leveling uh, journey to unlock functional gameplay items. Once completed, Black Ops Cold War players will enter a updated and improved season leveling that begins at game launch with preseason and which becomes synchronized with all three games starting on season one on December the 10th. So if you guys remember, if you played Warzone or, or not Warzone, excuse me, Modern Warfare from uh, day one when it first launched, there was a preseason, there was a season zero. So it kind of seems like the same idea here with Black Ops Cold War. And then once season one starts on December the 10th, all three games or all three titles will be kind of integrated together. It says meet the military ranks, the new replacement for the enlisted ranks. Of course, we have enlisted ranks in Modern Warfare from season to season. The ranks will be shared between Black Ops and Cold War, Modern Warfare, and Warzone. Your Black Ops Cold War military rank will act as a baseline for your rank in Warzone and Modern Warfare. And come Season 1 for Black Ops Cold War dropping on December the 10th. All of your camos, weapons, equipment, all that good stuff, uh, when the seasonal reset comes into effect, to put all the games uh, kind of in line with the new progression system, you'll be able to keep all that stuff, but will ultimately bind to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. If you are level 150 in Black Ops Cold War when the first season reset comes into effect, your level in Modern Warfare and Warzone will become 55 or your highest or the highest possible military rank. In addition to this, your shared level in Black Ops Cold War Zombies uh, will be there as well. They kind of talked about the player progression and kind of how it's going to start. This is going to check the barracks menu for each title for the new change. Uh, the universal progression system means that you can level up and obtain XP no matter which of the titles you are playing. In, Black, in addition, Black Ops Cold War Zombies shares the same progression system too, so you'll be able to level up no matter how you play. It says, in addition, the company has announced there will be a rank reset among Warzone and Modern Warfare to match Black Ops Cold War at the start of Season 1. It says, to synchronize player progression across all three games, your initial military rank will be reset within Modern Warfare and Warzone at the start of Season 1. The reset uh, synchronized to your current progression level in Black Ops Cold War when Season 1 begins. It says, don't worry. Only your XP will reset. Everything you've previously unlocked remains available, like weapons, perks, kill streaks in Modern Warfare, for example. So Modern Warfare and Warzone will combine together into one progression system to kind of join up with Black Ops Cold War. Then it says seasonal prestige leveling, which they're going to go into more detail about this today. I'm going to make a separate video when they go into detail about this because I'm hoping they're going to give us a lot of information. But it says your seasonal uh, officer progression is known as your seasonal levels which incorporates a seasonal prestige leveling system. As you begin season uh, leveling, expect an updated interface to, the, to this leveling system. Seasonal progression has been updated with aspects of the traditional prestige system, allowing players to unlock and use rewards, including some incredibly cool legacy player identity items from the world of Black Ops. Leveling in Black Ops, Cold War, Warzone, or Modern Warfare all count towards your seasonal leveling and progression or prestige level. I says, remember that a large portion of this content is earnable or simply free by just playing one or all of the three games. Now, this is kind of interesting sounding because they don't exactly go into great detail. Like I said, we will get more info today. I'm assuming there's going to be a seasonal progression uh, system kind of like we have in Modern Warfare and also a prestige system that is separate from that. But they have not gone into great detail to really define if that is the case. I'm not sure. They could be talking about doing something like prestiging each season. I, I'm not sure exactly how they're going to do this, but I am assuming they're going to be two separate things. The season progression and then, of course, the prestige system in Black Ops Cold War. When it comes to things about post-launch, they gave us a bit of information yesterday as well. They said starting uh, November the 24th, all players will have uh, a new map available, which will be Nuketown 84. Nuketown 1984, I'm assuming, is what this time frame is supposed to be, but it's going to be called Nuketown 84. That will arrive, like I said, on November 24th to all platforms. Surprise, surprise, we're going to get Nuketown again. I mean, that's been in every Black Ops game. This is not something that really excites me because I don't 
really love Nuketown. We've played it so much, but it is what it is. It's just a Black Ops game. You can always expect Nuketown to be there. Treyarch also announced that 2v2 gunfight mode is returning to Black Ops Cold War with the start of Season 1 on December the 10th. Also, on December the 10th, new maps, uh, multiplayer maps and modes, new weapons, new zombie modes, a classified Warzone experience, which they have not gone into yet, and then at the end of the roadmap, it says more to come. So this does sound like we're going to get a good bit of stuff once this Season 1 kind of content is released, which I think has a lot of people speculating that the maps and weapons we saw in the beta may be all we have at release, which is going to be kind of sad because there's not even going to be probably more than you know eight to nine to ten maps on release and about 14 to 16 primary weapons they're probably going to slip a few more things in there we didn't get to see in the beta hopefully but i am kind of curious to see exactly what content we get on release day they also talked about the battle pass and kind of how it's going to work and store content um this is the battle pass integration starting on december the 10th for season one of black ops cold war once the season starts, the battle pass for the game will have a cross progression and integration between Cold War and Warzone. Uh, there will be a premium version of the battle pass with more rewards and a free version. Pretty much the same thing we saw in Modern Warfare. It says, for, as for an existing Modern Warfare content, Activision has concern, uh, confirmed there are no plans to remove content from the game. Uh, Modern Warfare battle pass content earned and store purchases are planned to continue to be available in Modern Warfare and Warzone. For Season 1, expect a multitude of fresh and exciting Battle Pass items as you can access both in Black Ops Cold War and in Warzone. While the Season 1 Battle Pass content is accessible in Black Ops Cold War and Warzone, players will still be able to pro uh, progress the Battle Pass by playing Modern Warfare even. Uh, battle Pass content you unlock will be visible no matter which game you are playing. I find this kind of interesting because they kind of have really have integrated it to man no matter what you're going to play. If you're going to play Black Ops Cold War, if you don't want to purchase Black Ops Cold War and you rather just play Warzone, or if you want to continue to play Modern Warfare's multiplayer, you're going to be able to rank up this season pass no matter what. They're going to do a revamped storefront, uh, kind of a breakdown of the storefront. They're going to have a Black Ops Cold War store, a Warzone store, and a Modern Warfare store. So they're going to have kind of a, a clearly labeled system that's going to have stuff for each individual game which is going to make for a very big store, in my opinion. I mean, it's going to be a lot of stuff in the store. But at the same time, it's kind of a good idea, I guess, to do this if you're going to kind of integrate all three games and have a, you know, different, um, you know, different things you can purchase for each individual game, but kind of put the battle pass to work between all three of them. Uh, there's no plan, like I said, to remove content from Warzone and, and to kind of ensure players' optimal experience. Uh, there may be an instances uh, where content is delayed or becomes temporarily or permanently inaccessible. It's kind of what Activision said. But it seems like we're going to get all of this stuff between all of the games no matter what you play. Now, of course, we'll kind of get more detail once the game, or of course, once Black Ops Cold War is released. We may get a little bit more detail to see exactly what all is shared between all the games and what exactly is not going to be shareable between the games. Because like I said, they said some stuff was going to be inaccessible eventually. That may be some of the stuff that was in Modern Warfare. You may, you may not be able to get some things later on down the road. Anyway, guys, like I said, I'm going to make a different video this afternoon or today whenever they decide to release the Prestige kind of info and give us more of a detailed kind of breakdown of how the Prestige system is going to work. But anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And if you liked it, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.